Hello, this is uh, Galataki, as my YouTube name suggests, and uh, I wanted to make a new video that I've never really done before. I've never done anything quite like this. Um, now I do keep my own blog that I've started uh, late last year, 2013, uh, and, and it's based on the fragrances that I collect. And uh, I will leave a link below to provide to you if you would rather read than listen to me ramble for, you know, the next few minutes. It's perfectly fine. I actually <laughs> am probably a better writer than rambler. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, my aim for doing something like this is not to show off what I own as a, as a person or to uh, suggest that you must be a refined individual to wear such scents, although a bit of class helps. You can't exactly uh, uh, look like you walked out of a garbage dump and expect to be able to wear a, a bottle of Creed Cologne or Hermes and have people take you seriously. I know I wouldn't, but that's beside the point. What I want to review for my first ever video review is called Creed Original Vetiver. Hopefully you can see that. It's I know it's a little uh little awkward. Let's see if this helps at all. No. Okay, well whatever. It's uh very, very authentic, obviously. With comes with a beautiful just a beautiful bottle. I have never and ever seen anything quite so well constructed as far as a fragrance bottle goes. The atomizer is ridiculous um, in a good way. It has, I know it's probably extremely hard to see, but right here at the top of the, uh, of the straw here, beneath the spring, it sits a ball bearing. And I've never seen this before in an atomizer. It seems to disperse the fragrance in a way that uh, keeps it from being just this, this jet stream of, of liquid. Instead, it bursts it into a cloud. And that is important when you are spraying on any fragrance, really, but it's very important when you're spraying on something that you've spent your grocery bill on, so to say. Some of the, the, these Creed colognes and these high-end niche fragrances, uh, they are so complex that you need a good spray. You need a good atomizer in order to get the most out of your scent. And Creed has done this in a way that every single cologne should have this in their atomizer. I do not understand why they don't after seeing something like this. You can't fully appreciate it until you've used it on yourself. And uh, we're going to give a little demonstration here and I want to walk you through what this scent does for me. Um, I will remain as objective as possible and uh, it, it, man, just straight out of the cap is uh, it's amazing. I've never in my life smelled anything like this. And this really, uh, you have to smell to believe <laughs> rather than see to believe. Uh, so I've already got some on this wrist, or I'm sorry, on this, this elbow. Normally I like to go for the wrist um, because this has become more of an, uh, an at-home fragrance or a car ride fragrance where I can fully appreciate it myself. This is turned into a cologne that I enjoy personally. Everyone around me that smells it says it smells fantastic. There's nothing offensive about this cologne in the slightest. But what I find that I get out of it is uh, the silage, which is say, you know, you see that old man who smells like he's bathed in aftershave, 
or some sort of other uh, uh, cologne, or whatever they walk past you, or that you, you can you can clearly tell someone has been there and been wearing a heavy fragrance. This is not that. This is a close to the skin, um, maybe a little bubble of a foot that sits around you. Um, and you cannot stand still and expect people to smell you. You need to be in motion or someone needs to come close to you. It is a, it is the epitome of personal quality fragrance. And uh, let's see if I can give a good impression of just how potent this atomizer, uh, this atomizer is. Hopefully that did it, but that... Uh, you can see it has good good dispersal even from that far of a distance that's a pretty far distance to be uh, to be applying your fragrance uh, normally what I like to do is go on my neck uh, but with original vetiver that's different I take sprays into my the insides of my elbows and if I'm wearing shorts I like to go behind the kneecaps and that might sound a bit funny to someone who is uh, used to wearing, you know, twenty and thirty dollar bottles of cologne, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I've found that with something like this, because it's such a personal experience, you want to hit those major areas, those major pulse points that make the cologne resonate off of your skin. And while it's true that for most fragrance, sweat and heat is a killer, with original vetiver, it is not. This is a cologne that is meant for the summer and the spring. It is so obvious to me that uh, this is meant for the hot, humid weather. This will withstand not only your perspiration, granted you're not pouring or dripping sweat, but I can go to work literally spray one spray in on what, whichever area I feel that I want to smell and uh, come home and it's still there. I can come home, go to sleep, wake up that night, to take a shower and it will still be there before the shower. Granted, the shower washes it away, but I do not apply it heavily. Now, uh, The thing with original vetiver, like I say, is it's not a projection or a silage monster, but it has the longevity of, uh, well, the phrase that comes to mind isn't exactly appropriate, but it, the longevity is incredible. And uh, I want to walk you through some top notes and uh, just an all-around what I get from this scent. And we're going to start from the fresh first, not the, not the old one, so we can go from top to bottom. And... Uh, I mean, immediately what I'm what I'm smelling with my nose is bright citrus, um, and if you're inexperienced with with really thoroughly smelling, when I say bright citrus, I mean a multitude of citrus smells. Imagine, if you can, taking an orange peel, squeezing it, and just that burst of oil. Take that and the, the oil from a lemon and the oil from a lime. Try to, and kind of combine those. And we're not talking about a deep, oily scent. We're talking about a light, very, very fresh. I mean, we're literally the instant that, that the oil comes out. Nothing has had a chance to tamper with the way it smells. It is that fresh. It's as if nothing has come into contact with it. And, uh, It, it just turns into such a green, such a green and lovely old world style fragrance. It's, uh, this particular formula is based off an old one, which was made famous by John F. Kennedy. His signature fragrance was just called Vetiver. And Olivier Creed reintroduced this. I don't remember what year, but I know it's been recent. 
within the past uh, two decades. He reformulated it and re-released it and named it Original Vetiver. Where the originality comes from, I do not know. But I can tell you that this is a fragrance for the ages. And what I mean is this. I do not see how this could not withstand the test of time. Granted that uh, it, uh, your, your scents are well taken care of. Uh, it's such a sensual, close fragrance that will take you back with the right mindset, will take you back for years. I, I spray this on and uh, I will leave a link to my blog so you can see what I truly get out of this. But it takes me back when I smell the, the bottom and middle nose. I'm taken to a, uh, a hay field and uh, the grass isn't exactly completely grown, but it's uh, it's nice thick green grass grass with patches of of your uh, you know light brown dead grass blades worked in here and there. And we're in a mountain, a nice constant breeze down in the valley of a mountain, sitting in this hayfield. And when you look either way, there are trees, and the where the scent really takes me is to the tops of those trees where the sun is constantly beating down onto the green foliage and if you can imagine the moisture from inside those leaves coming up into the air from where the sun has evaporated it and literally just hanging there if you've ever felt humidity on your skin imagine that but lighter, just just a nice wet feeling in the air. It's heavy, but it's not it's not pushing you down. And somehow magically the scents within the leaves and the grass from below and the flowers, the pollen in the air, everything comes together and meets in this bubble of moisture. And it hangs there. It, it is the most incredible smell I've ever experienced out of a bottle. It's so complex, and it's never ending with the change. You can smell, for me, I can smell one thing. I can smell the, the pollen mixed with, with grass. Hot grass, mind you, if you can conjure up that, that smell. Uh, and then 30, 40 minutes later, it's, it's green leaves surrounded by just, just heat and moisture. And it's natural and it's fantastic. It truly is something that will take you back to your childhood or even to places where you've never been. If you can give it the chance and maintain an open mind. And uh, I strongly, strongly... Uh, suggest that if you appreciate summertime and springtime and the outdoors then Crete Original Vetiver is most certainly a fragrance to try. Uh, I blind bought this but I can obtain my fragrances from uh, a particular place where I char or I'm charged uh, <laughs> quite a bit less than what a normal normal Creed fragrance would, would be. A one ounce bottle of this normally costs $165. I did not even pay $100 for an ounce. Nor would I, not yet. I, uh, I like colognes and scents, but I, I do not like them enough to spend that much money on and not know what I'm getting. So uh, I would not recommend a blind buy. If you can find a sample, get it. Uh, but if you are absolutely certain that uh, you know what you're getting into. Give the one ounce bottle a shot. I will mention, as I don't remember if I've mentioned this yet or not, and I apologize if I have, the name uh, Original Vetiver would indicate to most people that it's going to smell like uh, a woody type of vetiver note. And I do not get that. Um, I, I don't even imagine uh, tree trunks or forest floors 
because the vetiver used in this bottle is from the the leaf of the vetiver, the uh, the foliage, which I think brings out the super green notes. Um, it's not traditional in green either. Uh, so there's some scents out there that allude to clovers um, or grass, like I said, uh, like I mentioned with this one. But this is this is a much more composed. Almost, uh, huh. I can't think of any other word other than symphony, as pretentious as it might sound, but it really is a mixture of all these different greens coming together in such harmony. It's difficult to put into words how powerful of an olfactory journey you will go on wearing something of this quality. And uh, I will certainly be purchasing another Creed fragrance here uh, sometime in the future because this is incredible. It's uh, not a party scent. It's not a. It's not a cologne you put on to go impress girls. It's most certainly not a cologne you put on to go impress your young guy friends either. This is a cologne to maintain class. It is a cologne that says, "I am." A mature adult <laughs> who uh, has no need to impress anyone. If someone smells it on you, I can only imagine that they will enjoy the scent, but it's such a refined, masculine, in your face scent that it almost pushes you away from asking what it is. It's just that enjoyable. It's why bother trying to find out what this is. Just smell it and appreciate it for what it is. Um, it beats everything that I've ever smelled. So far as quality goes, it's it's amazing. So anyway. I'll be bringing a, about another video soon, but it will be on the House of Hermes. Uh, big fan of that. So if you like this, please stay tuned.